Hi and welcome back to the last part of creating a train station scene. Today we will render out the stuff with Eevee and Cycles. Let's go! Okay, here we are in the final uh, tutorial right now and what we want to do at first is let's set here our camera because uh, yeah, our camera is here and not in the best position and uh, let's search for the final uh, render render view. So let's head into uh, the view camera view by pressing the zero on the numpad. And I like to use here this uh, navigation uh, walk animation and then we can uh, fly through our scene with the WASD buttons. If you're pressing shift you will fly a little bit faster and press Q and E to getting up or getting down. And I think I will go here into um, yeah, this view here right now. So maybe to something like this. Maybe we will uh, leave here our character in the center. Um, maybe let's go here. Maybe to something like this here. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we have here our camera right now and um, what I'd like to add is a little bit of depth of field. So we getting a little bit more focus here to our character. So um, what you can do now is um, select this one or what I like to do is putting the f-stop really hard down and um, change the distance so you can see hear more happening what's happening here right now so maybe we will go here to 12 meters and yeah let's leave the the focal length to 50 i think that's okay for this scene here right now so um we are going here with 12 meters distance right now um i think that's okay and let's put the f-stop a little bit up to maybe something like one so we have here a little bit um <laughs> depth of field in the in the foreground and in the background a little bit something like this the next one is here right now let's uh, go into the yeah, world settings and we want to add here a volume uh, volume scatter because i like to have a little bit of um, some yeah, some fog here in the scene. So uh, let's see here this one right now. Put this one here into the volume. And now let's change the density to 0 0.01. So we are getting here a little bit of fog in the scene. And then there's a trophy to maybe something like point minus 0.5. Yeah, as you can see here now, we got a lot of noise and to get rid of this or to yeah, get less <laughs> noise, you can use uh, the new denoiser stuff here. Uh, you can enable, enable this one here for the viewport as well. Um, but when you're using the volume scatter uh, or the volumes uh, in cycles, you have to yeah, increase um, the samples because yeah, the whole scene needs a lot of more details. So um, yeah, let's try this here really quick. So um, let's enable these. De de <laughs> let's disable here the denoiser, and I want to show you um, two renderings with the two different um, yeah denoising techniques. So. Um, I rendered um, the next one with uh, 100 and 128 samples here and the first uh, scene or the first rendering was with the denoise here with the uh, uh, optics and albedo normal and yeah that was the this is the first denoising technique <laughs> and uh, the other one which is with the compositing um, denoising, which I show you um, after that. 
there's no really big difference i think and some of um, the details you can see this but i think yeah it's it's up to you um and the last one here is uh, this uh, rendering with uh yeah what was it uh, 10 24 um samples and yeah you there are there's a bit, bit difference because you can see this on on the shirt and here on the subway and um, that is uh, more detailed and uh, on the floor here as well so if you're using this uh, this denoising stuff i think you have to use a little bit more than 64 samples but it depends really on the scene so you have always to yeah try it out and yeah um <laughs> try it by yourself so okay so that was um the first denoising um the first denoising technique and the other one is by going here into these um, view layer properties and enable here the denoising data and then we have to go into the compositing and then we can search here for denoising or a denoise and when you're enabling here these these denoise data you get here these uh, denoise points then you have only put this uh, stuff here into the denoiser uh, maybe that's image here and then you have to put this into your composite and render this one um, as always so and after rendering uh, the, the the compositing effect will appear over your rendering and you can try this year with uh, the fast or accurate stuff um, you can see this when you're using a viewer a viewer so um, when we are putting this here together let me see or maybe we render some uh, let's render here uh, let's render here an image now and now you can see in an initializing execution and now the compositing will hit over the image so bam and now when we are going here into um, into our uh, compositing when we are putting this here into the viewer we can see here this is a final image without the denoiser and now when we are putting this one here, you can see here it's compositing now and yeah it's uh it depends on your pc i think so and you can do uh, another pre-filter and check this one by yourself which one uh, will do the best job for you so that's uh yeah that's the rendering uh, this scene with cycles i hope that helps a little bit so and now we can jump into eevee so uh eevee here right now and as you can see um yeah <laughs> it's a uh, way much darker here right now because as i said at the beginning and um, by the texturing part um we are uh, don't uh, having here uh, some illumination from the emission textures um, you can get this by using the ssgi version of uh, blender it's uh, in, in i don't know what what it is right now beater alpha whatever um, i think it works really good um, but i want to show you how we can light this one here uh, without this so um yeah let's go here and to let's uh, delete this light here right now okay so what we can do now is let's go into material mode and let's here add our light or uh, our instance light or whatever and let's get rid here of this 
geometry nodes thing. And what we can do now is um, add here uh, area light, which we are going to put here up in to the uh, height of our light. And let's go into the settings and change this to rectangle. And now we can change here the size of our light so it will fit here into our ceiling light and let's add here a contact shadow which always made uh, which always make a little bit better shadows here so let's go here to this one maybe let's change here the light to something bluisher and we can increase the power as well so i think now you can see where we are going now we can see here this cool um volumetric stuff here right now and the cool thing is now when we are putting this light here into our um light um instance or what is it here collection and now when we are enabling here this uh, geometry node setup all the lights are here in these all uh, yeah, and our <laughs> ceiling lights, which is uh, really cool. Right now, maybe let's uh, pin this one, this settings here right now, so we can leave here this. And as you can see here right now, this is looking much better right now. We have a cool uh, scene here right now. I think we can, no, that's a little bit too much here right now. You can play around with these settings as always, but I think 100 is really okay for this. The last thing is now, I think the lighting is cool now. Um, we can uh, adjust here a little bit the reflections because as you can see here right now, um, this um, background is reflecting or the HDRI is reflecting, but not uh, so here the train and some stuff here and yeah let's uh, change this by adding here uh, what is it light probe uh, reflection plane so let's enable this one now and to make it a little bit more easy let's leave here these pin stuff and let's go here into the viewport display this the settings of the reflection plane and Let's go here into the show preview plane. So let's scale this one up. And when we are now um, putting this one up by pressing G and then the, um, G and Z, <laughs> um, we can adjust here a little more here our, uh, our reflection plane. And when we are going here into this one, let's leave the... Uh, the preview plane and when we are going here into the settings you can see here and um, when we're turning this on and off sorry you can see here we have here the reflect okay and what we can change here right now is the fall off so we don't have here this fall off and maybe let's increase here the distance again so as you can see here right now, the difference between the uh, without reflection plane, we have no train here. We have a little bit reflection here from our pillars. But when we are enabling this one here, it looks so much better right now. Okay, I think that's good here now. What we can do here, a little bit to change um, the um, that we can't see here the um the the hdri we can change a little bit more here the density so maybe to something like i think 0.05 is good for this one here right now and that was the uh, ev part for this one so let's hit render here right now so and yeah here is our scene right now that was the last part of this tutorial series and i hope you learned something if you have any questions please let me know see you next time and bye bye